Good day everyone! Once again, this is teacher JJ, your math teacher for today. So today's lesson, we will learn about place value. And let's learn how to write the expanded form of each place value. First, let's have some vocabularies. The first vocabulary we have place value. Again, place value. So what is place value? Is the value of each digit in a number. For example, ones, tens, and hundreds. The next vocabulary we have standard form. Again, standard form. So what is standard form? A way to write numbers by using the digits 0 to 9 with each digit having a place value. For example, 2,394. So this one is a standard form. Next, we have the expanded form. Again, expanded form. So what is a expanded form? So what? let's move on to our lesson. So I have here ones, tens, and hundreds. This one is the place value. Let's have some examples. I have here, so what is this numbers? So what is this number? For the ones place, we have how many ones? We have three. Very good. We have three. Three is in the ones place. How about the tens place? How many tens do we have? Two. Very good. So 20 is in the tens place. How about hundreds? How many hundreds do we have? One. So 100 is in the hundreds place. When we will write it in expanded form, we have 100 plus 20 plus 3. So in standard form, we have 123. Let's have this example. How many ones do we have? How many ones? One two, three, and four. So four is in the ones place. How about the tens place? How many tens do we have? Very good. We have two tens. How about in the hundreds place? We have two hundreds or two hundred. We write it 200 plus 20 plus 4 in expanded form. And in standard form, we write it 224. The last example, we have how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 is in the ones place. And how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sixty is in the tens place. How about in the hundreds place? We have one, two, three, and four. So four hundred is in the hundreds place. We write four hundred plus sixty plus five in expanded form, and then four hundred sixty-five in standard form. So, let's take a look what is the place value of 478. I have here the underline number 8. So, where is the place value of number 8? Very good. It is in the 1's place. How about the 924? 
the underlined number is in number 2. So, where is the place value of 2? What is the place value of number 2? Tens. Very good. Next, we have 135. What is the place value of 1? What is the place value of number 1? Hundreds. So, 1 is in the hundreds place. Good job, kids. Now, for your activities, please get your book and answer your book from pages 13 to 16. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye!